Welcome back guys, Automotive Inquiries here. Uh, glad to be shooting videos again for y'all. Um, just wanna make sure, reach down and help me out by hitting that subscribe button and that uh, notification bell. And if you like this video, please like it and come back and watch some more. Anyway, want to talk some really cool new features on the 23 Super Duty. Um, so went out and got to spend a little bit more time in a 23. Obviously you guys know my Lariat is in the in direction to the dealership that I ordered it through. And uh, whether or not I buy that one or, or buy the Chevy gas that I did. One of the cool things about Ford is they've always brought a lot of safety tech um, to the table on basically even from their work trucks up. So it's just really, really cool. And one of the things I wanted to touch on the other day because, well, this happened to me as at work and I got out of the truck really quick to do something. And usually I set the parking brake, but I didn't do that. And the truck started rolling real slowly. So nonetheless, was able to catch it because I did. I made it to the running board and it kept rolling. So I reached back in and did that. So I'm gonna take you back to my window sticker and show you all the cool standard safety tech. But one thing you may not know is they got this really cool new feature. Check this out. So we're obviously in my 22, but for the most part, everything's basically the same. So if I had this bad boy in drive and didn't have the emergency brake set and I got out of this truck, and it was in reverse or drive, it's gonna go one of those two directions, all right? What's cool about that is I found out even in that XL work truck that I drove the other day with the 6.8 is the new column shifter, actually, if you're in drive and you decide to open the door, this will automatically go back up. And again, some people might think that's kind of gimmicky, but at the end of the day, I look at it like, I mean, that's a, that is a great save. There's a lot of hardworking guys and gals out there that are just always running and gunning and getting their job done. And just to know, I mean, this isn't even something that's necessarily even advertised on the window sticker. And I'm going to take you to the window sticker in just a second. But literally, if you open that door with that in gear, this goes doop, 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 back up to park. And I think that's phenomenal because I know <laughs> I've seen trucks end up in ponds. I've seen them end up in ditches. I've seen them back in the roadway. So very, very cool. So one of the best new uh, f safety features that they could even put on there. So well done, Ford. But let's go back and check out some standard safety stuff that's on this new Ford that I ordered. So as you guys know, we talked about this the other day on mine. Auto high beams has been on even the work truck uh, for quite a while. And that basically uh, auto changes from normal and high beams uh, with oncoming traffic's coming or it senses some type of reflective headlight coming back at it, um, which I think is just really, really cool. But one of the things that you don't get on most Chevys, you don't get on most Rams, um, is really the bliss over here with cross traffic alert. Um, having that come standard on basically XLT and up and a lot of actually XLs will even have this, <clears throat> but if you take it off for say a lift gate, your bumper will be gone and they'll they'll delete that piece. But I mean to have that this bliss, which when people are coming across in the behind you in a parking lot and coming one or another, the system lets you know one that they're there and usually the direction that they're coming, which I think is just really really good that it's already basically built in there. Another thing is this pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. Again, this will cut power to the throttle if you are on the gas and it senses that you're not reacting to an actual emergency type situation, which again, I think is really phenomenal because I mean, this is your uh, $85,000 Lariat, uh, but I mean, this is a standard feature on the 22 XLT. And again, on a lot of these features, even on the XL, it's got it. And I just really, applaud that because the 24 Chevys are just now getting auto high beams. They're just now getting some cross traffic alert, but it's not standard. Um, and that's, I had to bump up to, uh, um, uh, LZT package, uh, on the Chevy to even get, um, LTZ, sorry, uh, package to even get the cross traffic alert. So, I mean, I just look at a lot of the, those systems right there where it would just be nice if they were automatically in there. But that, that one where it takes the, the actual column shifter and puts it back in park is just really, really phenomenal. Again, all of these are tools. These are not to negate your driving uh, responsibilities, but 
when we're working or we're going and we got the kids screaming or or you know the you know the wife's yelling at us or whatever or even vice versa the ladies you're driving the guys yelling the kids are screaming whatever it's just nice to have a lot of these things and to have them come standard just gives you a little bit of sense of security so again awesome new safety features forward for coming out with uh, that one i didn't even touch on it the other day because i was just enamored with the whole idea of it but uh yeah guys please do subscribe and like these videos and uh um, I would appreciate all of the people that are out there watching. We'll see you on the next one.